monsters do have their place in the zoo, in your nightmares, in the deep. I'm doing Ellisville Harbor State Park Trail today. It's been so long since I've done this that I don't remember this being the parking lot. I think I might have. You might supposed to be able to park over in that direction. <laughs> but you could also park here, I guess. Um, I'm going to walk over there because I feel like the trail started over there, even though I see a trail here. <laughs> I, I just remember it being more, um, I don't know, manicured looking. But we will see. Uh, <laughs> I forgot to look up how long this trail is. Uh, we'll find out. I don't think it's that long. It's July 5th, 9-11 a.m., and I came out <clears throat> at this time of the day, the day after 4th of July, because I thought it would be really quiet, because I remember this being kind of a popular, popular trail. So let's go check it out. I'm gonna guess that that pathway over by the other parking area comes out right here. And this looks like it's the main parking area. Yep. So it looks like there are a few people here today. View from the parking lot. But yeah, it's probably been it's probably been like eight years since I have walked here. Two feathers crossed like an X by chance on the ground. It's kind of cool. There's a view. didn't print any kind of map. I'm gonna go this way. If we get right down into the marsh right here. So this was just another little side path that gets you down here into the marsh, which is really cool. Oh, look at that. That's awesome. I like that elephant. It's a rose up there. I have a feeling this is going to connect back up to the main trail, but it is kind of kind of crazy, but we're going to go up it anyway. Not that bad. Tons of wild roses. These are a little different. Oh my goodness, it's so pretty. this anymore. like a house but I thought it was for like park staff the kitchen it would be cool to live here okay to the beach
love rose sand because it makes me think of the beach. This caption. Look how colorful it is. It's got purple, orange, red. to someone's house. Oh. Wow. Look at that place. <laughs> it's a tower. That's crazy. That was spooky. That crow just flew off the top. This is someone's yard, so... Nice along here. All different types of plants. This does just circle around, which you can add on to your walk. So pretty. way. I think this might be the way to go. And I'm coming out at this parking lot. Some grapes growing right here. Hey, so I just wanted to add a couple of things on real quick. Um, so the, the path, we'll call it a path, uh, is only about a half a mile from the parking lot to the beach. Uh, so the whole thing would be about a mile if you only walked the pathway. Uh, but you can add on walking onto the beach and some of those little side paths and around the meadow. And I, I wasn't really uh, keeping track very well. I had my, my Fitbit on and I think I did about three miles of walking while I was there. I was there for quite a while exploring. Um, and then I also just wanted to say this isn't a commercial. It's just... Um, I mentioned the rose, the roses, which are everywhere on beaches around here, and I just love that scent in summer. And I happened to find this, it's like a face spray, hydrating face mist, hydrating face mist, uh, by Pearlescence, and it's coconut rose. It smells exactly, exactly like the beaches around here. And this is just so light and refreshing, I love this stuff. Um, and this is super nice in the winter when the, it's just the beach is just a memory. <laughs> I just wanted to mention that in case you don't know the scent and uh, wanted to wanted to smell it, you might be able to find this and know what I'm talking about. I'm addicted to that. That's it. Thanks for watching. See you next time.